Garth Brooks accused of raping hairstylist. Country singer sued for battery and sending sexually explicit texts. Country star Garth Brooks is accused of sexual assault by hairstylist Jane Rowe, who alleges incidents of harassment and a 2019 hotel room assault. Country music superstar Garth Brooks is facing serious allegations of sexual assault and battery. A hairstylist and makeup artist, identified only as Jane Rowe, has filed a lawsuit against Brooks in a California court, accusing him of raping her in a hotel room during a work trip. The lawsuit also details a pattern of harassment, including repeated exposure, sexually explicit conversations, and inappropriate touching. The incidents are alleged to have occurred in 2019. Brooks's legal team has denied the allegations so far, and even filed a lawsuit right before Roe. Garth Brooks accused of sexual assault. As the music industry reels from the recent arrest of Sean Diddy Combs, yet another prominent figure has become entangled in a growing wave of sexual abuse lawsuits. Grammy Award-winning country star is accused of not only assaulting his makeup artists, but also repeatedly exposing himself, discussing sexual fantasies, and sent explicit text messages. The suit, obtained by CNN, alleges these incidents took place in 2019. Roe, who began working with Brooks as his hairstylist and makeup artist in 2017, originally joined his team in 1999 to provide services for his wife, Trisha Yearwood, as detailed in the report. Accusations against Garth Brooks According to the lawsuit, a 2019 incident alleges that Garth Brooks, 62, walked out of the shower naked, grabbed the woman's hands, and forced them onto his genitals while speaking to her in sexually explicit and inappropriate language. In another case from May 2019, the lawsuit says Brooks sexually assaulted Jane Rowe, who goes by Jane Rowe, in a hotel room in Los Angeles while she was on a work trip for a Grammy tribute show. The complaint says that Rowe and Brooks went to Los Angeles together in his private plane, and she was taken aback to see they were the only ones there. Once at the hotel, Roe alleges she was shocked that Brooks had booked a suite with only one bedroom and no separate accommodations for her. Feeling trapped, she claims Brooks appeared naked in the doorway, leaving her feeling vulnerable and alone with him. The lawsuit states Brooks repeated remarks about having a threesome with his wife and continued battery and assault after rape, including groping and telling her sexual fantasies. Garth Brooks denies allegations. According to CNN, an anonymous celebrity plaintiff, whom the outlet identified as Brooks, previously tried to stop Roe from making her allegations public. He denied the claims in a previous complaint he filed as John Doe. As Doe, Brooks claimed in his lawsuit that Roe's attorney sent him a demand letter alleging sexual misconduct after he had denied her request for salaried employment and medical benefits. After the alleged rape, Roe claims Brooks groped her and continued to tell her about his sexual desires, which allegedly included repeated remarks about having a threesome with his wife, Trisha Yearwood. The complaint states that Roe began working for Brooks in 2017, but was first hired to do hair and makeup for Yearwood in 1999. Defendant's allegations are not true, he insisted in his suit. Defendant is well aware, however, of the substantial, irreparable damage such false allegations would do to plaintiff's well-earned reputation as a decent and caring person, along with the unavoidable damage to his family and the irreparable damage to his career and livelihood that would result if she made good on her threat to publicly file her fabricated lawsuit. Rose attorneys Douglas H. Wigdor, Jean M. Christensen and Haley Baker told CNN that Brooks' efforts to silence their client through the filing of a preemptive complaint in Mississippi was nothing other than an act of desperation and attempted intimidation. We are confident that Brooks will be held accountable for his actions, the lawyers went on. We applaud our client's courage in moving forward with her complaint against Garth Brooks. The complaint filed today demonstrates that sexual predators exist not only in corporate America, Hollywood, and in the rap and rock and roll industries, but also in the world of country music.